say that on air and I'll fucking cut you. <laughs> well, hello! It is so good to see you! Uh... And welcome back to another episode of Formidable Fashion Review with your hosts, Victor Baskerville and... Jasmine Villiers. Hello, good morning and good night. Cheers. I'm not too faced. So this week, the queens were asked to do two looks, both camping inspired, one that they had brought from home, and another they had to make on set, which was part of the challenge. Uh, but what we're going to do is do a quick fire round of the ones that they brought from home, and then go into a bit more depth about what we really think of the attempts at making some outfits. Well, let's go, Gary. <laughs> Gary Baskerville. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <girl. gasps> Are you saying I look old? Are you saying I look dusty? Well, that and many other things. Homosexual. Oh, this pervert Wait came into my dressing room earlier, trying to look at my bosoms. Well, that's the last thing I wanted to see. <laughs> the gave me nightmares. <laughs> Is that all mine? Anyway, we might as well get into some looks. Fashion! <laughs> yes, fashion. 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 And up first, we have Crystal Versace. In her... It looks like a, a Girl Scout look. I love this. Yeah, I like this a lot. Um, it's very clean, it's very sleek, it's very polished. Mm -hmm. Two. Yeah, um, it's 40s inspired, a little bit deeper actually. Um, I like it as well. It's a two. And up next we have Kitty Cass. Kitty Cass. Fuck that up. Uh, like everything you do. You better edit that out. No, we're gonna keep it in. Show me all of your flaws. I have worked at this channel for 20 fucking years and we have over 39 daily for follower viewers. I am a woman of age. Oh, we know that. Well, anyway, next up we have Kitty Scott Claus. Looking a bit messy. Uh, a little bit messy. I'm not a fan of this one. Also, girls cat inspired, but coming after Crystal, it's just not good food. Yeah, uh, this is a bit messy. It's fine. Would it stand out at a party or drag convention? No, it's a boot for me. Up next, we have River Medway in. Um, I'm not really sure what the outfit is, uh, but I, I, I like it from the waist up. The bottom is a, bottom is a boot, top is a two. I completely disagree. I really love this. This was my favorite look I'd seen so far. I think it's so innovative yeah, to have really. a mat as a dress. I think it's gorgeous. Very innovative, very cool. A very new direction that not everyone would think to go. It's a toot. Up next, we have Charity Case. So it looks like she's killed and eaten Kitty's Got Claws from the runway before. <laughs> <laughs> and wearing it, she's wearing her outfit. I don't know, I kind of like the concept of it, but the outfit is actually a bit ugly. So it's a boot. Yeah, I, I like this. Um, I love that she's such a beautiful queen, but she has the courage to, you know, be crazy, be wild. Um, not my favourite on the runway. Very innovative though, so I'm going to have to give it a two. Next we have Theresa May in what looks like a Twiggy inspired outfit. I'm sure I've seen Twiggy wearing something similar, except it looked good on Twiggy. Uh, yeah, this is just a, this is a mess, this is a complete mess. Why does she have furry knees? Boot. Plucked! If it were plucked, it would be better. Boot. Uh, I am going to have to agree. Uh, she just did not pull it out of the bag this time, Charit, so I am so sorry. Um, it's a lot. This is not pedestrian, this is not off the rack. This is a lot. I love that, but I just think it's too much altogether. I hate the headpiece. Boot. Fuck you! You've been trying for years. <laughs> you fucked the rest of the news network. That's why you've still got your job after all these years. I have some news about Victor. Victor was seen at a party the other day uh, with uh, not one, not two, but 23 men. Yes, 23 men. That is so interesting. Why don't you tell us and your wife about that party? On to the next look. Up next we have Scarlet Harlot. You're a, you're a bit of a harlot yourself. Oh, takes one to know one. I love this look. This look is gorge. It's fucking Katniss Everdeen and we love her. Beautiful, fun, toot. I was getting a bit more Xena the Warrior Princess than Katniss Everdeen. 
Um, I like it as well. It doesn't wow me that much, and I'm not really sure how it's you know, camping exactly. I still give it a two. Up next, we have Vanity Milan. Yeah, I'd be laughing at this outfit too. Ah, oh, that's horrendous. harsh. But it's not good, is it? Um, yeah, this, uh, it's too much going on. It's not really camping in any way, shape, or form. It's more 80s. Uh, I don't understand the things on the. She was trying to modernize it with the backpacks, but it made it worse. Uh, boot. Yeah, I do actually kind of like the blue ruffly overcoat, but it doesn't go with the rest of the look, and the bags are just messy. Yeah, I like the overcoat. Um, and the shine of pink katsu, it, doesn't, it just looks all bizarre together. Mm. This is a definite boot. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. Okay. <sighs> oh lord Jesus. Oh lord Jesus, save me. Up next we have L of a Day. Uh, it's cool, but it's just a bit too costumey for me. Uh, yeah, it's a boot. Yeah, I agree. So this is a great cosplay look, not a great runway look. Um, she looks fine, and I like the reference, but boot. You ready? Up next we have Veronica Green, looking like Linda LaHughes. Has gone to Glastonbury Festival for three days, and has lost all of her clothes, and made something out of her sleeping bag. I seem to have lost all of my clothes. You do that very often, each time you go into the executive's office. Ooh, I need a promotion. Uh, or do we two to boot this? Uh, I don't know, actually. It's, it's ugly, so I give it a boot. But there's something I do like about it. I disagree. I get that this is very simple, but I like it. I, I, I got the story. She's at a festival, camping. Yeah, I like the story. With the hair and the makeup. I got it. It's a it's a toot for me. Toot, toot, toot. So that was all of the looks that were brought from home, the camping looks that were brought from home, and now we're going to go on to the looks that were made as part of the challenge um, out of camping gear. Um, and up first we have Crystal Versace. Yeah, um, I love this. I think this is so cool. I think, um, I think she looks high fashion couture. Uh, really, she does. I did read online that it could be a copy of Aquaria. Yeah, it's very reminiscent of Aquaria's superhero look. Oh. Um, like, that had the cutout spikes on the top, and then it was that the super, uh, yeah, it was more of a bikini, um, Aquaria's one. She has like a little... Yeah. Yeah, but it's very reminiscent of that. I personally prefer this look. Me too. Uh, and she's made it from scratch. Yeah. Um, I think this is a look that looks very simple, but really it's quite difficult to make, I would imagine. Yeah. Um, and what really elevates it for me is actually the makeup. Um, it's very runway. Um, yeah. so something of the Alexander McQueen. I think she's got black contacts in as well. Uh, but it just elevates the whole thing from, you know, kind of an edgy corset to a runway look. Um, yeah. I really, really like this. I love this. And I commented on her page, people. I said, what were those judges thinking? This is not tired. This is not boring. This is one of the best looks. Yeah. The only thing I would comment on is maybe the shoe. It's a little bit plain in comparison to the rest of the look. It's just like a nude. Oh yeah, she said Kate Middleton. Oh yeah, I did find that very funny. Uh, Alexander McQueen is the, the corset and then Kate Middleton is the shoe. Clear, maybe a clear shoe. Yeah, or like a platform. Yeah, maybe a platform. But I think a platform would have cheapened it. Depends on the platform. If it's yeah. one of your stripper heels, then <gasps> maybe it would have cheapened it. I do not own any stripper heels. I do not own any stripper heels. I, you must be thinking of somebody else. No, no, I'm pretty sure I'm thinking of you. Cut, cut the fuck, cut the fucking camera. We'll be right back. So do you toot or boot this look? I 100% toot. I love it. Aerodynamically, this look reminds me of like a piece at an art gallery. It's just gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Her waist is tiny. It's a toot. Yeah, her waist is tiny but it's also exaggerated by mm -hmm. the way that it's the corset is shaped, yeah. going in and out, yeah. um, so it looks even smaller. 
um, has the illusion. But yeah, I, I give it to you. I think it's potentially one of the most stylish things that's ever been made on Drag Race, on the set. Um, wrong. It reminds me. What the fuck did you just say? I said, uh, I'm not, you're not wrong. Wrong. It, wrong. Wrong. It, wrong. It, wrong. It, but yeah, this is definitely a toot. Toot, bitch! I'm so sorry. I have not drank in several years. The, several hours, you mean. <laughs> Up next, we have Kitty's Got Claws. And this is not good. Yeah, it was one of the worst looks. I find it so funny that Kitty was like on the episode. She said to Charity Case, was it? No, it was River Medway. Oh, River Medway, that was it. She was like, well, I'm, I'm really surprised that you're not in the bottom. And I was like, are you joking? Yeah, I'm surprised she wasn't in the bottom. How could... Uh, the lack of self-reflection there was immense because River looked really good. Yeah, she, she did look really good. Yeah. She should have been in the top, in my opinion. River. Potent been. Potentially over Ella. Um, but yeah, this look was not good at all. I mean, it, there's barely a shape to it. It looks like she's just literally just wrapped it around her body and then put a black belt over the top. Yeah. Um, and the hair just blends into the rest of the outfit. Like nothing stands out, just all one sort of pinky white blur. The legs are brown, the arms are pink. Yeah. They're two different colours. It just yeah. looks weird. Yeah. Um, and it stands out even more because the dress, the dress is such a shiny pink. Yeah, it, it just looks very constructed. And if yeah. you compare it to someone like Crystals, that doesn't look constructed. That looks like finished product. And she has the same problem as last week as well. It's just too loose around the breast area. I don't know if she needs bigger boobs or just needs to learn how to measure properly. So for me, it's it's a boot. Yeah, this is definitely a boot. So up next we have River Medway, and I love this. I think it's beautiful. When I saw when I saw her come out in this, I was like, give her the win, give her the win, or give her the top at least. It doesn't look constructed to me. Mm -hmm. You know, obviously the dress on its own is a bit plain, but I think when you add the bow and the hat, I think it's really stunning. Yeah, it's a complete concept, everything works together. Um, there are a couple of, it's a, it's a bit messy maybe around where the corset joins up to the, the spiky things, which are the, top, mm. like the breast bit. Um, but other than that, it's done really well. It looks like it could be, uh, you know, a really high class airline stewardess for Malay Airlines or something. I don't know why I just did it, that was weird. <laughs> I didn't understand a single word of that. <laughs> the only thing I would say again, like Kids Got Claws, the legs are green in this one. Mm. Why are they a different colour to her arms and the rest of her body? Why would you have them a different colour when you could have them the same colour? Grab my leg. I was in the Daily Mail once, you know. Uh, I don't know why. You were the mistress of some press officer? No. The I headline was down. Madonna asks fan if he has STD live on stage. So, which ones did you tell her about? <laughs> anyway, apart from the tights, I give this a toot for sure. Me too, I love this. It's a toot from me. I was born a run, I don't belong to anyone. Oh well, no, oh. I don't need to be loved by you. I don't need to be loved by you. You won't be. <laughs> no chance of that. I feel humiliated. But I don't want to be associated with some whore. I don't want to be associated with a homosexual. <laughs> How dare you? Don't put that in. Something you've never said before. <laughs> I've been married 24 years and I have never cheated, actually. Thank you very much. More like married 24 times. <gasps> I had two divorces when I was very young and impressionable. Now, would you have a woman in the 21st century stay with her husband who she doesn't want to be with? Uh, you were not young in the 21st century. Maybe you were young 60 years ago. Maybe the 19th century. Banshee Dubois, the southern sister of Benedict Strange. Fucking, fucking new cheap fucking 
chairs. Cheap chairs for a cheap haul. Up next we have Cherry Case. Looking like a little bit like Jimbo actually from Canada's Drag Race. I see that actually. Now that you mention it, I see that. Just with smaller pedonkers. Yeah, I think this is cool. I think this is pretty couture, it's pretty chic. I didn't love it when I came out on the runway, I don't really know why. Um, it's not my favourite look of the night, but I think it's cool. Yeah, I like it as well. I think there could have been things done to it that elevated from just okay to chic. Like, the, I think if she had a different hair that was a bit more sleek. Um, yeah, I see that. Because at the moment there's a, there's a lot going on around her face. You've got the hat, the really bushy hair, the neck thing, mm. and, and then there's just like space between her neck and then. Mm. Mm. So I agree, maybe some smaller sleek hair. Yeah. Um, but that doesn't really go with her concept, which I think is like the Mad Hatter or whatever. I think that's her concept. Yeah. Well, uh, well I'm not really sure what the concept is. Like, is it, is it clown? Is it Mad Hatter? Is it. It's like Alice in Wonderland kind of vibe. Yeah, that sort of area, but still not really sure. And then I also, I also wondered if, because she only has half an outfit, right? right. Like you most days. So. Not today, Satan! Oh yeah, because it's half an outfit. So I did wonder whether she just didn't finish it and then said that it was an artistic choice. Mm. Um, but overall, I still liked it. It's a two, and it's really well constructed. Like she, technically yeah. speaking, it's... it's Good. So. Yeah, this is well constructed. This is fun. This is cute. Toot. Toot. So up next we have Theresa May. Looking like uh, Queen of Spades, sort of. But it's very poorly executed. Yeah. Like, I do like the concept. An evil villain. Um, but it just looks awful. I mean, she has literally no shape. Yeah, and she's shaped terrible. like a man down the Weatherspoons. Yeah. Um, Ugh. I think it could have been improved with some tits. I know, I think she was going for that modern thing of not wearing any tits. But I think, uh, I don't think it works with every sort of dress. No. And this is one of those dresses where tits would have at least made it a little better. Yeah. You know, it's so cut, weirdly, uh, it's it, it's ugly. It's it's like it's like she's wearing a Scottish tablecloth, you know, which she is. But we don't need to. We don't want to think that. Although I will say that her story about it was so funny. It's hilarious, and you know that actually saved her from going in the bottom too. I think it did save her. But I'm also tired of that. She has had something sexual to say in every 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 episode so far. He just in my eye and blinded me in the middle of the wow. night. Um, and it's like, okay, so far your personality is about having sex and being from Spain. Double board, you know? Oh, come on, that was a funny story. Not, I, I don't think anyone else in the cast could have told a random funny story like that. N no, nobody is quite as unhindered as Teresa. I also think that the gloves that she's wearing look like washing up gloves. Yeah. Like those pink marigolds that you get. Yeah. Like she's about to wash her dishes. Um, yeah. I don't know how she looked in the mirror in this and saw, I am a gorgeous femme fatale. Yeah. It's like, the, you're gorgeous, and the head is gorgeous, and the legs are gorgeous, but the dress doesn't give me femme fatale. It gives me 50s housewife. Yeah. It's a boot. Yeah. Once she's done with washing the dishes, she can probably dry them on that blanket of an outfit. This is definitely a boot. Up next, we have Scarlet Harlot. Looking, ah, oh, dashing, ravishing, fucking beautiful. Um, you know, this is really stunning. This is simple, you know, um, not everyone could pull this off. You know, not all faces are designed for that sort of hair. And you know, Scarlett's face really works with that very flat hair. But you know, it's gorgeous. Yeah, maybe not everyone could pull it off, but that means that Scarlett knows what works for her. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, everything about this really is really well done. The construction of the garment, it fits her so well. And it's designed, it's simple, but it's elegant at the same time. The hair is a really good choice with the garment because the garment's very colorful. So it's sort of a, a more neutral hair to 
not detract attention from the garment. Mm. Um, and the face is so pretty. So pretty. It's just so beautiful and pretty. What a testament to her that she had those 15 extra seconds to grab shit. And she grabbed lots of shit probably, but she only ended up using that. Because mm. she's smart. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She knows what looks good. There's something... Well, RuPaul was saying that she reminded them of Cher, oh. with the long straight hair. There's also something Gargarish about it. You know, Gar yeah. the long straight white hair. Yeah, I um, see that. I mostly see Cher, but I see a bit of Gaga. <laughs> I give this a toot, for sure. A toot! This is a toot! Toot! Toot, Scarlet, toot! I love this look! This is amazing! Therapist has been saying for 30 years. Up next, we have Vanity Milan. <sighs> this one is for the boys with the garbage bins. <gasps> because that's where no! Taken away. It's Nicki, it's Nicki Minaj. This is something Nicki would have worn in her 2000s era. Nicki would have worn something finished and hemmed. Do you think it's not finished, or do you think it's purposely that way? It's not finished. Boy, you got my heartbeat running away. Also, last week they said to her, the orange hair that you're wearing in the challenge is really distracting. Uh, and the big chunky necklace you're wearing is distracting as well. So this week she comes out wearing big orange hair and a big chunky necklace. Like, it's not even listening to the critique. Yeah, but it's Nicki Minaj. I mean, the orange hair goes with the aesthetic of Nicki Minaj, which is what she was trying to bring forth. This is the worst tribute to Nicki Minaj I've ever seen. Mm. There's, uh, there's nothing redeemable about this. It was literally stuck glued to a corset and glued badly. No. Yes. Uh, I ate it. I ate it. <laughs> so, um, is it a two or, or a boot? It's obviously a boot for you. Definitely a boot. If there's something lower than a boot, I'd give it that. I'm on the cusp because I think a lot of a lot has gone into this look, but it is a boot. Up next, we have L of a day, and this is an L of an outfit. Uh. It's a, it's okay. I mean, it, it's constructed well. Like it must have taken a lot of skill to do the coat and the dress at the same time and have those shoulder pieces on the dress. Um, I just don't, I don't like the colour combination of the lurid neon yellow and the red tartan. Um, and this, the hair doesn't really go with it either. Maybe the hair would have just gone with just the dress. What? And it's also, it's baggy around the vagina. Fuck off, Why it's a dress. A big fat vagina. Look, it's a fucking dress, dude. <laughs> How is it baggy around the vagina? It's, it's just a dress. How can it even be baggy around the vagina? Okay, I see it. It's, a <laughs> it's also because the uh, pattern doesn't quite line up right, so it looks like it's bulging, even though maybe it's not. This is sexy. She's sexy. This is sexy. Come on, man. What this is sexy? Is sexy. Not the yellow and the red. This is sexy. It's fucking sexy. This is the sexiest thing on the runway tonight. This is the sexiest thing all season. This is sexy. It's the wig. It's the makeup. It's the, the dress, which is simple but effective, like Scarlet's, and then that high fashion jacket, which, you know, uh, covers her shoulders, which are big and broad and not very drag-like. Um, I think it's beautiful. I think they, they were a little harsh on this, and I love it. They weren't harsh on it. They put it in the top. Oh, wow. Um, I agree that the makeup and the hair is sexy, but the tartan dress is not sexy. But it is, because it goes into the waist, and then, yeah. But the baggy vagina! Baggy vagina! Baggy vagina is not sexy. At work they call me baggy vagina. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, baggy vagina! Hello, this is my fourth performance in my 80th year. I am going to perform Je ne regret a rien. Get your hard hats out. That baggy <laughs> vagina might drop at any moment. Oh my god. This is a total boot, come on. Uh, 
I don't know. If she'd taken off the coat, if she'd just had the coat, I would have given it a two, despite the baggy vagina. But I just don't like the combination together. Together, it's a boot. I disagree. I think this is a toot. It's a toot! It's sexy. Up next, we have Veronica Green with her last runway. Uh, oh. <gasps> um, yeah, a lot of work went into this. A lot of work went into this, and I do appreciate the work, and I appreciate the struggle that she's been through with her depression and her sadness. I really relate to that. Life is very hard sometimes, especially for her in, in her circumstances. Um, but this look is not... It just doesn't come together in a good way, you know? Uh, she thought she could turn those kites into butterfly wings, but they're just not... They're kind of like a red herring. They're the kind of thing that you, you could use, but you don't actually want to use. I think they were thrown in there as a red herring, you know, like... Uh, maybe someone will use these as butterfly wings and fuck up. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's what they wanted. Because I don't think those could look good with any outfit, really. Maybe not. Um, yeah, th th I, I do like what she was going for with this, uh, but she's completely lost her shape. Mm. Like in the illustration she did at the beginning, there was still quite a distinguished shape, and this is just a tube of um, material stuck to a corset. Yeah. I think if she had had it, um, it would have been slightly improved. I think even without the wings, it would just be better. Uh, I, I, I actually don't mind the combination of the dark makeup and, and the black hands with it. Uh, there's something about the contrast that I quite like. Um, I don't agree with Graham Norton that the whole thing should have been completely happy clappy. She has no waist. And that's an issue. If she put a fucking pink corset over it, it would look much, much better. If it had a pink corset and real wings, you know, beautiful wings, this would be a, a stunning look. Mm. There's still something I can like about it though. I do like the, the selection of the colours, the, the way they were stuck onto the corset. Mm. And the, the way the leg fabric ruffles around her, her legs. So I'm, I'm going to give it a nuked, actually. Oh, really? Because, yeah, the good things about it balance out the negative things. I'm going to give it a nuked. I give this a, a boot. Up next, we would have had Victoria's gone, but Victoria's gone. Oh, Victoria's gone. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I see what you did there. The scone's gone. I see what... My heart will go So we missed out on seeing that in the show. That's um, a shame. I loved her. Apart from her last look, which I hated, but generally I loved her. So that was all of the runways for this week. Who was your top two of the first category? Death to all of them. Death to all of them. Oh. It's between Scarlet and River. And I am going to go with... Uh, I'm going to go with Scarlet for the first category. I just really loved it. It was sexy, beautiful, stun. So for me, the first category, it would be between River and Crystal, actually. Okay. So River, I really liked the top half of the outfit, but the bottom bit was a bit drab. It didn't compare to the top half, which was really quite um, innovative. So, because it wasn't quite as fully realised as Crystal's, I'm going to go with Crystal for the top two in that category. And then, who is your top two of the second runway look? This is awful. Okay, my top... I'm going to have to go with Crystal as my top. You know, Scarlet's was incredibly beautiful, don't get me wrong, but Crystal's really had that extra. You know, if I had to pick one of them in a room, I'd pick Crystal. Scarlet was exceptional in how beautiful she looked, but if I'm thinking about which outfit would I choose to put down a runway, you know, if I were running a show, I would choose Crystal's outfit. Yeah. Um, it was just edgier, it was interesting, 
what well, maybe wasn't as beautiful, but it was cooler. I just it, it speaks to me more. So cool. I'd go with Crystal as well actually. Yeah. So Crystal was the top two for both of mine. Ugly <laughs> <laughs> Bobby. Tell your fucking friend. Tell your friends about this show. Tell you tell 30 of your friends, please. Please you like and share. Please tell your friends. And yeah. join us next episode where we will be reviewing the remaining queens from Red Looks. Yet another gig! I am drunk! I would like you to like and subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below complimenting my... Balancing skills. Goodbye! Goodbye. That's over. I'll see you in court. Say that on there and I'll fucking cut you.